So this is my video on my new home in Charleston. There's my car. Still need to get a residence uh, pass for it. Only has one hour parking right now, but uh, it should be easy enough to get. I'll just park on the side of the street. It's really beautiful homes nearby. Like, really awesome street. Uh, I was pronouncing it Crack Street, but it's actually Crakey. K-R-A-C-K-E. Um, pretty short street. It's like two blocks. Ends on both sides. Uh, that's actually the freeway over there. You can, There's two... There's two places you can turn, you can immediately turn right, or you can go past that median that you see and turn right after that, and that will take me straight to the bridge that takes me to sailing practice. It's like five minutes, not not difficult at all. I'm, the house that I'm living in is right behind me. Um, there's a house next door. There, there, the one on the right is mine, the one on the left is the leases, the daughter of the person who's leasing the house, and she's really sweet. Uh, she's a big dog, pretty cute. Stairs. Um, can't really get a good view of it, uh, but yeah. Well, my room kind of overhangs um, just just past her house, and uh, there's the front. And I'm gonna be getting a bike and trying to figure out where I'm gonna post it up. But this is there's my welcome mat. Here we go inside. the stairs. It's pretty pretty narrow, pretty carpeted stairs. And there's the side rail. There's there's my jacket. And then you know, there's a pretty watch your head part right here if you're if you're taller than me, but I can make it under quite fine. There's a uh, there's my key and um, jacket rack. Dad put that up today. Pretty nice. There's a uh, the stairs up to the top. And then behind me is a really wonderfully placed window and a, an opportune art spot right there. And then get ready for the shock. What you see when you walk in is a door. But it, it leads to, you guessed it, oh, a bunch of electronic shit I have no idea what it was for. No, I'm joking. It's the central heating system. Coolio. Now on the left, get ready for whoop 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 Boom! Big ass TV. And then my pedestal. And then the coffee table, which still needs to get glass. And then wonderfully placed windows. Really great coloring. He did an awesome job painting it. It used to be white. That's an opportune art spot right there. I might put some art right there. My wonder awesome calcers. Um, this coffee table, which is I'm going to be using for like my phone or toss my keys on. Well, actually, I'm going to have my keys on the hanger, but couches, um, there's going to be a coffee table, or an end table, I mean, right here. You need to get the glass for it, though. All um, window ACs, so, you know, pretty easy to manage. Um, but, yeah, there's the there's the monster TV that came with the package deal of furniture. And then uh, now I'm going to show you the study, which can accommodate to... Um, you know, I was thinking whenever we were at the French Real Life store, it's like it'd really be cool to have a recliner to read in. So we got this really badass recliner with an end table. We're gonna put the printer on it. There's another AC system. There's a lamp to go adjacent to the uh, couch or the recliner for reading. And then there's my desk. Um, it's the it's a Thomas Jefferson desk and a really badass chair. I got two of them. The peach wood seats with. Uh, green rustic green it's called uh it's called a farmer's chair uh farmhouse chair it's really nice uh what you see on top of that is the nv printer wireless sick printer i'm gonna end up putting it on the end table that you saw next to the recliner but yeah and uh there's my computer tons of storage space i can just slide my computer under this little slip behind there and i can fold that up and it folds up nice and easy and um really beautiful room there's my bookcase we got from Pier 1. It's, or, yeah, there, it's wonderful. I mean, we did a great job picking that one out. And then, um, now I'm going to take you to my room. i got to turn the light on. It's really messy in here right now, but there's the corner. Everything kind of leans in here because it's a second-story house. It's built way back in the day. 
But uh, again, tons of windows, really beautiful, tall windows. There's my high boy. That lamp's not going to be going there. That lamp's going to be actually going to go in the living room. That lamp's going to go on my uh, nightstand. And uh, here's my bed. I got two colored cloths for it. I got a red one and a blue one. It's really messy right now. I took a really long afternoon nap. It's been a long week, but uh, there's the uh, box spring. We had a really slim box spring, so it sits low. But uh, now for my closet, which also has two beautiful windows. Um, really, like, a lot of storage space. Tons of storage space. A really tall closet with two windows. Have yet to hang anything up yet. But, uh, yeah, there's my laundry basket with folding doors. Now I'm going to take you to the kitchen, which is really my pride and joy right now. It looks wonderful from where it did look. There's a refrigerator right there. Probably could put something on the side to make it look a little bit better. But And there's the favorite thing in the whole house. That coffee machine is wonderful. Then the really small, cute table that goes in the room really well. And then three wonderful, like, like an English-style breakfast is what is going to be had here with those windows. Really beautiful. Um, the other wall where... There's my poster thing. There's a wonderfully placed coffee table with those containers and a uh, really good opportune art spot right there. Um, and then behind me is, again, the coffee maker with wonderfully placed trash can. So as soon as you get done, you just pop it out and put it in the trash can. And then my silverware drawer. My empty cabin space that's convenient um coffee you know whatever you want we have it tea as well all of my spices are going up here it looks wonderful organized by myself brand new stove because the jackasses who lived here before apparently broke the previous one uh awesome set of requirements needed here oh really uh a pan set to match my table more like an awesome set of glasses um, my pans down there they're red again more storage space and then my no garbage disposal so I have to be pretty careful about the food but you know there's my there's my ninja there's my chopping block there's my knife block there's my dishes Everything's organized wonderfully. Um, again, my plates and my bowls, and my plastic wares on my third shelf. Put more plates and bowls, and then these are my food pantries. Um, Dad's cereal and then my stuff. And then fridge has a ton of room. I uh, my pickles and all that. And then the side jar. Really cool. And uh, no ice dispenser, but I like ice trays a lot more. Anyway. Dad, you're terribly overdressed for dinner. You're outdressing me. I mean, uh, the hallway to the third bedroom. Um, this is where the roommate would be living. It's actually terribly small, so uh, <laughs> gonna be hard to, you know, tell them. And then here's where the washer and dryer would go if we installed them, or if she decides to install them. The landlady. There's a mirror. And then, uh, the bathroom. Awesome, awesome shower curtain that I picked out. It's an example of an ecosystem, according to my Biology 101 book. But, um, here's the shower. Like, the rainstorm shower head from heaven. And then, my faucets and stuff. And then the really super girly um, toilet rack, because no guy actually puts anything above his toilet. And then, um, towel rack, and then this, and then a medicine cabinet. Bam, bam, bam. And then, this is where I'm going to keep most of the uh, detergent and stuff like that that I need. And towel rack that we use just as well. I love you. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.